Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. And today I'm gonna to be going over a new feature of SolidWorks 2018. And that's the ability to go ahead and mirror a 3D sketch. To show off this new feature, I'm gonna be working with this motorcycle assembly. I wanna finish my design by adding a set of handlebars directly to the bike. To do this, I'm gonna actually go ahead and create a new part inside of the context of my assembly and locate that part directly on my front plane. Once the part has been established, I'll jump into a 3D sketch and draw out the general shape I want for my handlebars. We'll note that in the center of my mounting brackets, I actually have an axis in place that I can use to go ahead and line up my 3D sketch. We'll go through here, draw out the general shape that I want for my handlebar, and we'll notice that because we now have the ability to mirror my 3D sketch, I no longer have to worry about making my part perfectly symmetrical by itself. We'll let SolidWorks do all that work for me. Before I actually mirror my sketch entities, I'm gonna go ahead and add some quick sketch fillets to smooth out the handlebars itself. Now with this new feature, we're gonna go ahead and use the mirror sketch entities like we would in any typical 2D sketch. To activate that tool, we'll go directly up into our mirror entities, choose all of the entities we would like to mirror, and now in order to mirror these from one side of our part to another, we no longer actually need to create a piece of sketch geometry. We now have the ability to use any of our individual sketch planes. In our case, I'm gonna use my right plane and mirror all my sketch geometry from one side to another. So not only does this keep all of my sketches in relation, it also gives me the ability, if need be, to actually go through and change the length, change the size of any of my individual sketches. Just making creating parts inside of SolidWorks that much easier. To finish off my design, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of my 3D sketch and add a structural member that I've created, which is just the general shape that I want for my handlebar. We'll go through here and choose all of my individual sketch entities that we've just created. And once that's all said and done, we can push OK and complete our actual design. So we can see just how much easier and faster it is to create our individual parts and our assemblies directly in SolidWorks with the ability to now mirror our 3D sketch. I'd like to thank you for watching this Hawk Ridge Systems video, and please make sure you like and subscribe to the Hawk Ridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content and new features of SolidWorks 2018.